here. Okay, so we'll give you first dose. After, after you get your dose, go down the hall. There's a little waiting room. You're going to wait there for 15 minutes. In that 15 minutes, we look for everybody for a severe reaction. It's called anaphylaxis. That's your body having a severe reaction to the vaccine. It's very rare, but we still want to watch it. What we look for is any kind of difficulty breathing, swelling in your face or throat, a fast or rapid heart rate, any rash or hives, any kind of dizziness or weakness. If you do, you raise your hand and somebody down there will catch you, okay? okay. Did you eat anything this morning? Yes. Okay, great. You shouldn't have any problems. You go home. If you had anything like that at home, you would call 911. But again, we don't expect you to have it because we see it in the first five to 10 minutes. Okay. But what you could experience, did you have COVID? No. You could experience in the first, not so much we see it on the first reaction to the first dose, but to the second dose, you see more like the flu-like symptoms, right? Okay. This tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever, nausea, not feeling well, swollen lymph nodes, diarrhea, vomiting, vomiting. Also at the injection site, a little pain, swelling, redness, or a rash, a little cool compress takes care of that. If you experience any of those symptoms, you could certainly take a little time. Rest, hydrate, and Tylenol is the way to get those symptoms. They can last a, like a few hours up to a day or so. Anything more than five days, you call your pediatrician, okay? okay. You should be perfectly fine. It's gonna be a breeze. Okay. You're gonna get it and you're gonna say to me, I got that? It's just like getting your immunizations at the pediatricians. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I can do this. I think you can too. I have faith in you. Okay. And you have your vaccine card. That vaccine card is going to come back with you next time. And you're going to keep that vaccine card just like you're going to keep um, a passport. Okay. It's a very tiny needle. Very tiny. I do it all the time. Yep. Breathe in, breathe out, relax your arm. Okay, you ready? Yeah. We'll pitch. Done. What? That's it. We just got the vaccine. Yeah. Okay, we just got home. Uh, so just explaining that little adventure real quick. Um, we went to go get the COVID vaccine. Um, yeah, it was really, really interesting. I'm going to update you guys more later, and I'm going to explain this entire thing in a second. Okay, so I kind of forgot to explain what the hell was going on in today's vlog. I got the COVID vaccine today. My arm actually kind of hurts, especially with my sleeve, like when my sleeve touches it. Like, that's a lot of pressure. I don't think that makes sense. So it kind of hurts right now. It wasn't hurting very much this morning. I got the vaccine at 7. It's been 9 hours since I've gotten the vaccine. I haven't had any allergic reactions to it. Severe reactions can include difficulty breathing, swelling of your face and throat, a fast heartbeat, a bad rash all over your body, or like on parts of your body, dizziness and weakness. Some side effects to, the, to getting the vaccine include severe allergic reactions, non-severe allergic reactions such as rash, itching, hives, or swelling of the face, injection site pain so kind of like what i'm dealing with tiredness i got really tired at around four to six hours after i had gotten the covid vaccine that might be like kind of the time where you would get tired i have no clue that would my personal experience headache i did not experience that muscle pain chills joint pain fever swelling and redness in the injection site nausea feeling unwell swollen lymph nodes yeah i feel like i butchered that diarrhea vomiting and um pain i have like an entire four page packet okay apparently my arm hurts i'm gonna guess that it's gonna be arm pain for like the first 24 to 48 hours yeah, that's, that's kind of like statistics that I've gotten from my experience. They say that it might not hurt 
very much the day that you get it. You might have like kind of a reaction the night and the day after you've gotten it. The lady said that if I was dealing with like any allergic reaction type that I have to go to the hospital but I haven't. I don't have any allergies, which is really good. This ingredient, can can someone read these for me? Translate them to English? It is English, but human English. Like people who want doctors and know about this stuff type of English. <laughs> I have no idea what it's saying. Not in any like severe pain. If I had to wait it, it would maybe be like a three-ish, four-ish. It hurts a bit more like when I, I'm like leaning on this bed so when I'm leaning it kind of hurts but for now I'm doing pretty okay I'll update you guys after if, if I'm ever like feeling in any pain or anything skip towards tomorrow it's been three days since I got the COVID vaccine. I took off my band-aid yesterday. Those bandages hurt. You know what I mean? Like those some bandages that like you can just like take them off. But no, those some other bandages that just like stick to you. It's a pain to take them off. So I finally took off the band-aid last night. On Friday, which was yesterday, I got the vaccine on Wednesday. And on Thursday, there was a bit more pain it was like five ish and then on friday so yesterday it was like a six ish and now it just it went away i'm perfectly and totally fine i just dealt with arm pain that was all i had problems with no like headaches i didn't have to take a tylenol if you ever experience like a headache or something or like some sort of like really really bad pain don't take an Advil, take a Tylenol. That was what the nurse recommended. Take a Tylenol. Make sure that you have a Tylenol or you can like go to a store where there are Tylenols. Like in a moment's notice in case you do have a reaction that needs a Tylenol. I'm doing pretty well. So just kind of wanted to update you guys on that. I know some other people who have like gotten really sick because of it and had to like stay in bed for a while. I think that the second dose is going to be the one that like really is gonna throw people off the edge cause that one's supposed to have like a bigger kick than the first one. I'll do a separate video on that one. If it's already out, I'll put it in the eye, but it's probably not gonna be out by the time this video comes out. Whenever it comes out, I'll put it in the description and put it in the eye. So if you guys, Wanna go watch that video and see kind of how I had to deal with it as a 13 year old because obviously people have different reactions. It depends a lot on the age and body type. That was just like my perspective from a 13 year old. Everyone's bodies are different, everyone's gonna have a different reaction. My brother had it with me and you know, it was just like, it was that day that he had pain and then the rest of the time he was completely and totally fine but then i dealt with pain for three days and now i'm perfectly and totally fine so it all just depends on the body type remember that but if you guys really do get very sick go to the hospital peoples go make sure that everything is fine because you might be dealing with a very very severe allergic reaction to any of the ingredients in the vaccine so go make sure that you are perfectly fine. I had the Pfizer vaccine. This might also be different. I got the Pfizer vaccine because it's the only vaccine at the moment that children can take. Obviously, if you guys are older, you guys probably are taking a different vaccine. So please just check all your bases. And if you're in very, very severe pain, call your doctor or go to the hospital even if it's necessary. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It's very factual. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.